Hey everyone, it's Angela from Our Retro Reflections and Two Vintage Sisters, and we are doing a fall tiered tray collab today, and I'm so excited. I've had my summer stuff up all summer, obviously, and I'm just ready to change it over to fall. I love the summer. Summer is my favorite month, but I do like fall. I like when it comes, when the weather becomes a little bit cooler. Um, and I just like having to change out my decorations anyway, right? Do you do that too? Comment below if so. So I just want to thank the host of this collab, Carol from My Blessed Nest. She is such a sweetheart. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to her channel, please do so as soon as possible. She has lots of great ideas, um, both DIY and home decor. Um, but let's get to my tiered tray and I hope you enjoy it. Bye. So this is the centerpiece that I've had on my kitchen table all summer. Um, my friend Melissa and I with Two Vintage Sisters, we did the video on cloche. And so you can see the little beehive on the right there in a cloche bell jar. Um, and if you want to look back at that video, you can go to our Two Vintage Sisters account and check that out so i'm just kind of dismantling this i love this vase with this greenery that i keep up almost every season and i just add new picks to it each each season so i'll just get all of this out of the way you probably see the hobnail um, vase underneath that but that was a really fun collab that we did all right we are set for our tiered tray now here are some of the goodies that i've picked out to use in uh, my tablescape and in my tiered tray i just love the teal colors that we have um, that coordinate in our house So this is the floral uh, pick that I got to go with the greenery for this season. And I'm just going to fast forward here so you don't have to watch it all. But I liked that it was this cream colored. It had a lot of great textures for fall. Um, I just like the white and the green look as you can obviously see. I'm just going to add in a few little bunches and then we will be good to go. This will actually be used in my tablescape that I will be incorporating my tear tray into in the future. So keep an eye out for that on this channel. Uh, be sure you subscribe so that you can be notified of when that video is up and ready. I found this chicken wire tear tray at a thrift store for about three dollars these two uh, cuties are home co it called denim days and they're actually in my etsy shop but i'm going to use them in my tiered tray and if they sell before uh, the end of fall then i will have to pull them out and maybe add something else in but i like to use some vintage uh, figurines in all my tiered trays so I like to start out with sort of my most important pieces and then add more in here. I got that little uh, teal mug at um, a craft store and then I just added a little battery powered candle in with it. These were found at a craft store as well, um, pretty inexpensive. I'm um, just going to cut this netting off, and I liked the gray plaid in it. Um, they had some black and white ones, um, and then those, those are just paper mache white ones, but the plaid ones are uh, kind of a felt fabric. Just adds a nice little texture to them. So we'll just keep adding our little pumpkins throughout. Look how cute those are.
I found this light up pumpkin it's a ceramic and I just thought it would be a great addition to the tiered tray I love adding different lighting aspects to it it just adds a whole nother dimension and I love walking through my living room or my kitchen in the evening and seeing um, them glow I got this ceramic pumpkin at the same craft store that I've got a lot of other items from and it's really heavy. I don't know quite what it's made of. It feels actually heavier than ceramic. I'll add that to the back. Now that I have my main elements in the tray, I'm going to go through and add some of the pieces that I have cut off from the original floral pick. Just adding again more texture here and there. This light up candle I've talked about in previous tiered tray videos in our two vintage sisters channel. Um, I got those from Amazon and I actually need to put a new battery in it. But this is actually, the greenery is a napkin holder found at a craft store and I just snipped it uh, to be able to fit around that candle. And I use it in a lot of my tiered trays and decor. This beaded garland I actually found at an upcycled style antique store. They had a great mix of old and new, and I just thought it would be really cute. The T uh, stands for our last name, and I like to incorporate it in with some of our trays and our decor if I can. I just love hanging things off of the tiered trays. Just adds a little bit more interest and the wood gives it a natural element. Now this bird I got at the same upcycled antique store. I'm sure it's probably new, but um, I just thought it would be really cool to add this battery powered uh, fairy light into it. Um, got those, this from Amazon and I'm just going to put it inside and fast forward through. And I did have this up in the springtime but I just like the color and I thought it would be great for fall as well.
I don't actually think we need two glowing things that are so similar up at the top, so I'm going to space those out. As you can tell, I try to space the elements and the textures out um, on the different levels and the different sides too. You don't want all the pumpkins on one side, all the orange items on one side, all the teal items on the other. Kind of spread it around so that it continues to show interest to the eye when somebody's looking at it. I can actually see too much of the open chicken wire on the bottom and so I'm going to add some more greenery to it and a few more pumpkin elements. I did get these pumpkins at an antique store although I don't know if they're new or old. So here's the greenery I'm going to add that I actually just pulled out of another summer decor piece that I had. All right, we're looking pretty good. I think we're about done. I might make a few adjustments, but here is the close-ups. And here's what it looks like with some of the lights off so you can see the pieces glowing a little bit more. And that about does it for our tiered tray collab. Thanks again, Carol, for hosting. And I, we hope everybody subscribes to this channel and enjoys our ideas and our thrifting and antiquing adventures. Have a great day.